What is up you guys? It's RJ. We have a new group to the channel. Uh, surprisingly not a new group to me though because I've actually kind of checked them out off camera um, and I'll explain that a little bit later but we have uh, I think it's DKB but then I also saw the pronunciation is Dark B but I think that's like the Korean pronunciation so I don't know if they go by DKB or if DKB is actually just supposed to be Dark B. You guys can let me know in the comments. I'm currently watching uh, Peak Time on uh, Patreon and uh, this group is on the show. Um, and so I have been really interested in watching their performances because they're really awesome. And a couple years ago when I started my channel, they had a song come out called Roller Coaster. Uh, and I don't know how I came across that song, but I think I maybe just was interested in the title and clicked it and listened to it. And it turned out to be one of my top songs that year. Um, so I think I've also heard Work Hard as well, because I think people will recommend that when I did that video. Um, so yeah, that, th those are like the only two songs that I've really heard. I think, which I'll explain later, but um, we're going to check out uh, All In 24-7 uh, Sober and their latest comeback, All Yours. But before we do that, uh, as tradition, I typically will get into the member profiles just to kind of see who I'm looking at. Um, and kind of learn a little bit about them. Uh, maybe it'll help me get to know them a bit more um, before we check out the MVs. So let's do that. There's an episode I just watched of Peak Time and I'm anxious to see which member it is that stood out to me on that show that is in this group because I, I don't know, I don't know any of their names really. Um, I kind of know the two, Ichan and D1, only because they're the ones doing like the most talking, I guess, in the show as the leaders. So um, yeah, it'll be interesting to get to know everybody. But anyways, DKB or Dark B is a nine member boy group under Brave Entertainment. The group consists of Ichan, is that Toe or Tail? Let me know. Cause I know like SEO is so, so I don't know if that's supposed to be following the same thing or not. Um, D1, uh, GK, Heechan, Loon, is it Loon or Loon at Lune? Let me know. Junso, Yuku, and Harry Chun. Uh, they debuted on February 3rd, 2020 with Sorry Mama, DKB stands for Dark Brown Eyes. Oh, what? <laughs> well, okay. Wait, why? Dark Brown Eyes. Okay, I guess. Um, I was waiting for the eyes part to come into play, but I, I don't know. Okay, I'm even more confused on the title of the group now. I like that the fandom name is BB though. That's actually really cute. Okay, first up we have Ichan. Ichan, 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 Ichan. Leader, main rapper, lead dancer, February 19th, 1997. Oh, he's a former YG trainee. I wonder how long he trained there. D1, this is the one that I, I see the most. This is like the loudest member, to me at least. The way it seems on peak time, he's like, he's just very energetic and I actually really love it. Leader, main dancer, acrobatic, interesting. Lead vocalist, February 15th, 1998. Childhood dream was to be an athlete or a magician. A magician. Wow. Again, please help me on this name because I don't I don't I don't think I'm saying it correctly main vocalist and acrobatic The acrobatic thing is really interesting to me. Uh, I wish like it, it, I wish I knew more about that October 22nd 1997 his childhood dream was to be a singer. Look at that. He made it come true GK main rapper September 29th 1998 he wanted to be a master martial artist I'm surprised there aren't actually that many like facts listed for this group, at least for now. Huh, I don't know, I don't, I'm trying to figure out which guy it is. I don't know if it was him. Maybe it was. Lead dancer, lead rapper, and vocalist, July 31st, 1999. I also didn't expect these to be 90s kids. I don't know why I thought they were like a, a little bit younger than that. I am not surprised that this man's position is visual. He's wearing a crown. So both him and He Chan are both. Wusan uh, friends, <laughs> they know the both of them. Junso, this guy is like, he seems so tall. I don't know how tall he is. Oh, six foot? Okay, yeah, that's pretty tall. <laughs> Main dancer, lead vocalist, sub rapper, DJing. Okay. Another position I'm surprised to see as well. Oh, he's close friends with Eric from the boys. My bias in that group. I feel like I may have butchered his name as well, but I'm gonna assume it's Yuku. Maybe, maybe not. Main dancer, vocalist, and DJing as well. May 12th, 2002. It's him. It's this one, Harry June. It's definitely him. I can recognize the face. Wow, and he's the Mokne? Wow, 2004. 19, I guess, right? 
math lead dancer and vocalist in Machna. Yeah, yeah, this guy. Uh, so where I am in the show, if you're curious, is where they got like a new song and they had to perform that song and they were very worried about the song they had to perform. In my opinion, they they killed it. Like I said in the video, like if that if you told me that there was an original song from them, I would have believed you. They 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 own the entire performance. But this one here, his center ness was just like everything i thought it was great like so i don't know uh who won because the end episode ended in like abruptly so but i'm sure i'll be watching that soon why does he have the most facts what is this <laughs> oh most of these are from a an instagram story okay so i, I guess he did a q a on instagram i'm like what is <laughs> well, okay out of everyone the magne is the one who has like the most information i just saw one of his facts for harry june was that he doesn't think he's that attractive and i'm just like this is the second person i've heard say that because i saw beckin say that as well recently that he didn't think he was all that handsome and i'm like why how do pretty people not think they're pretty i don't know i'm it confuses me we're gonna start with the very first one which is all in i know this isn't their like debut but this is one of the MVs that I have not seen, song I have not heard, um, at least I don't think so. So yeah, let's go. Ah, uh, my ear. Yeah. You're the only one allowed. Red hair. I like this piano. Ooh. I like his voice. Heard you. I love the piano. I'm digging the outfits. Who's that? The one with the red hair. You the best Wow, their vocals are so nice, which I feel like I already knew from peak time.
I, I already know people are going to come for me in the comments, like, after I just did the whole member introduction and then they're being like, who's that? Listen, when people change their hair color, I can't tell who's who. Especially with, this is like one of my first times, like, getting into the group, so forgive me. But who is that man? Redhead? There was someone else too, but I think that maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't feel like it's worth guessing. I'm just going to get it wrong. I enjoyed this song. Actually kind of surprised at how it sounded. It wasn't what I expected from them, considering, um... I guess maybe the vibe that I get from them watching them on peak time, uh, I would have assumed based on the songs that I've heard from them, which are just roller coaster and work hard, um, that their sound would have been. I guess this falls right in line though, because it's kind of like RB, but this is way more chill, and this song at least was way more chill than I guess I would have expected it to be. Um, but I really liked that. I liked the piano carrying it throughout the entire song that way. Uh, really liked Redhead's rap, um, as well as, um, what was his name, Junso. Um, I liked his parts too. I liked everyone's, but those two were the standouts for me. Um, and then vocally, there was someone else. I think it may have been D1, but then there was someone else and I can't recall who it was, but um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I, I really enjoyed that actually. Okay, so here's the thing with this song. I I think I listened to this when it came out, but I don't think I ever listened to it again after that. So that tells me I don't think I enjoyed it very much, but then again, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing in April when this came out. I don't remember. So uh, I don't remember what it sounds like either. So uh, I'm just gonna pretend like that never happened. And this is just gonna be the first time watching it. So sober, let's go. I'm a different person now, so who knows? Who knows what I'm into? Wait, this sounds familiar. This beginning. Yeah. Straight up. Piano again. Switch on. Switch on. That we go straight. Brave. It's coming back to me. Oh, I like the vocals in the background for the pre-chorus. The piano. It almost reminds me of Shiny's Heart, even though this came out before that. I'm really digging this piano. The piano with this group. I love it. I like the siren edition. I feel like I can recognize him always now. The piano! Ooh. 
Lightsaber. To the playlist i told you i i was a different person over a year ago in 2022 april i don't know what i was into i apparently it might have not have been this song i don't know maybe i thought the, the as it was coming back to me i was like you know what i think maybe i thought like the arrangement was weird maybe the piano was a bit much to me at the time i don't know i don't know what i was thinking back then but now i really liked that and I feel like I'm very consistent with saying that the piano is my favorite instrument and the way that it was used in this song was very interesting. It's almost a bit like off-putting because it feels like um, kind of creepy and kind of like, I don't know, some like madman at the piano like hitting just like stuff, you know what I mean? Like, and then the section in there that I said kind of sounded or reminded me of uh, the recent song Shiny just came out with Hard where it's like da -da 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 and that in that song the piano is absolutely nuts so hearing that here was really interesting because it sounded it sounded mani man like maniacal but it worked so well i'm sitting here trying to think if i've recognized a piano in roller coaster or work hard and i don't think so so maybe this is just a coincidence that these two songs just kind of have a very um prominent piano in the song I don't know. All right, next we have 24-7. Let's go. This is another one I think I've heard, but I don't think so. No. So. Oh, 
Wow, they look great. Woo! That's not the end of the song. What? What is this sound effect? What's happening? Okay. What the hell? That was the shortest song I've ever heard. I thought that um, that ending was about to go into the bridge. That's crazy that it ended like that. Dang, that's a shame that song's so short. I mean, it doesn't like make me not want to listen to it um, more, but I, I don't know. I feel like there could have been I don't know, an extra 45 seconds or something, like another bridge and then the the ending would have been nice, but okay. I still enjoyed it nonetheless. And again though, this song, um, it's not what I would have expected from them. Um, and again, I guess just based on the way that they, I guess, kind of talk about their vibe on peak time. Um, so it's interesting like doing this video and getting a sense, a bigger sense of their music, um, not just solely based on roller coaster and work hard. You know what I mean? There was something about June So in the center of this song and on the chorus of this song that really um, worked very well for me. I don't know, there was just something about his entire like presence um, in this track. It was really, really nice. Also the rapper with the, the dark, the black hair, um, I'm, I was trying to figure out when he was on screen, I'm like, is this the guy that I pointed out with the red hair in the first video? It's amazing what hair color and showing your forehead does to someone, like, they look like a totally different human. For someone who's not necessarily familiar with them, at least. Alright, we have reached All Yours, which is their most recent comeback, uh, with the repackage of their most recent mini album, right? So, let's go. This is new. Did the last time we did that? I don't remember that. When you're alive, but I can reach it. Show you my feelings. For me, that's not good enough. One day I'll buy you all. And I'm me and all. The land was done for us. The piano is back. Oh. This is a very interesting song. And music video. Because you will always get your way Whatever that you want, you get it Because of you Probably spend it all until I'm hurt, you know Say the word and you know it's yours Swear that you can have anything you want Say this one, but I hope I'll fall I'll fall you Say the word, cause you know I'm yours I'm all yours Wow, uh, um Tell me the price you know I spend No 
It just hit me where they filmed this because I just watched the Going 17 episode that is exactly the same place. That was like, why does this place look so familiar? Um, wow, that was a very interesting song. Um, I like, well, first of all, I like the song. I like that they used, there was like an effect that was happening and you had someone harmonizing on top of that effect but that person was not using the effect. It was a very interesting like melding, you know, like it was almost as if someone was using auto-tune singing, someone was not using auto-tune singing and they harmonized the two together. And it sounded, it sounded very interesting. This is another song with a piano at the forefront almost. Like I'm very surprised. <laughs> I feel like I said that already about them, but I, I really am, I guess I, had an idea of what their music might be like. Um, I mean, I know this is just the title tracks, but just going based on what I've heard from them and also heard from them in the show, um, I had an idea of what I was going to be getting into. And this was surprisingly not what I was expecting, but I like what I got. But based on the title tracks, I completely understand where they were coming from now um, on the show about that song they had to do. Because that song is definitely nothing like any of these songs that I listened to in this video. But that was good. I really enjoyed um, what I heard here. And I am kind of excited to see what else like they have. Like I know they haven't been around that long and I'm rooting for them on peak time, even though I know they don't win. I know who the winner is already um, or what the name of the group is. Um, but watching them compete on peak time has been a real delight, which has made me want, want to do this video. Um, so yeah, it's cool actually being able to see them on there and watch like what their actual music sounds like too. Um, they're really awesome. I actually like them a lot. Thanks so much for hanging out with me here, you guys. If you liked the video, leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if that's your thing and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.